Hi, really good to have you this week. Today's video is purely based on your request. It's from last week's video when I did the under eye serum. I think I had more comments about the eye makeup used in that video than the serum. Well, okay, maybe 50-50. And then I posted a photo on Instagram using the same makeup application. And again, eyeshadows, lipstick, what is it? Where do I find it and how do you do it? So here I am, proof point that I do follow what you suggest. And I'm very excited to share with you a, well, I'm a really an interesting eyeshadow combo, something I've never done before and something that really caught me by surprise. So let me rewind a bit and give you some backstory here. Um, when I most recently went to Sephora to stock up on items that I already had loved and was using, I came across this. Fabulous beauty. Yes, I got sucked in like a moth to a flame. I can't help myself. But take a look at this. These colors are amazing. And there is such an array of warms and cools and neutrals and a little bit of everything. And I figured, wow, I could really get some use out of this palette. So I bought it. And when I opened it up, I noticed that it came with, look at that all different kinds of ideas and ways to use the eyeshadow. So I figure, okay, I'm going to start with look number one, which is called Glam Chic. And I looked at the colors and then I looked in there and I thought, wow, that's a lot of shimmer and shine. Okay, I'll give it a try. Um, probably more shimmer than I've ever used before. And so I'm going to preface my video with this. This has a lot of shimmer. You can easily find dupes. You can find similar colors that don't have that iridescence quality to it if you need to avoid shimmer. Uh, but I'm gonna use what's in this palette and I will give you the names and we can work from there. So also in the name of brevity, I have done my foundation, um, brows, I did my eyelid primer and a little bit of contour. So I wanted to speed up the process because this video is really about eyes and lips. So this way we can launch in, get right to it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so you can see the eye application. Before I begin, let me start off by saying that everything used in my makeup application today will be listed in the description portion of the video. If you're watching on your computer and you look at the description, hit the word more, everything will expand. And if you're watching on a cell phone or a tablet, hit the down arrow to the right. And again, it will do the same thing. Okay, so here we go. This is the Sephora Pro palette. And the colors that we're going to be using are here on the left hand side and I'm going to start with Dewdrop which is this very very light lavender color right here and that's what's going to go on the eyelid. I'm taking my flat brush I'm just going to press it on the product and then press it on my eyelid right in the center. It's a very pretty shimmery lavender color really brightens up the eyes and what I noticed when I did this application and I've known this all along but Colors that are in the purple family really play up green eyes. And my eyes are hazel, and I just find that when I wear colors in this family, the green color in them really, really comes out. And again, I am following my guide, my gal. And the next thing I'm going to do is apply peach right here, and that's going to go in the crease of the eye. And for that, I'm using a brush that's a little bit rounded but firm. Okay, peach is going right up here. Adds a little bit of warmth into the crease of the eye, but we're still in a relatively light color. Again, these are sort of candy-like colors. They're very playful and fun. All right, now the next thing that I am instructed to do is to take this slightly darker purple, but we're still in the lavender family, that's wisteria. That's going to go in the inner corner and the outer corner of the eye. And now to add a little bit of depth and dimension 
Hold on. I'm looking for my flat brush. Pause. Okay, I'm back with the right tool. This is a flat brush, firm. And now we're going to take the warm cedar, which is the darkest color here on the outside, and we're going to block in the eye on the outer edge. So starting in the upper lash line, about three quarters of the way out, and then whisking out to the side, and then coming in a little bit in a triangle shape. And again, everything will be blended in the end. These colors are highly pigmented, which means they are rich when they are applied and they stay on. Really a fun eyeshadow palette. There's so much variety in this selection of color here. So it's really been enjoyable to play around with. Okay, so that's adding a little bit of drama out to the side. And sometimes if I feel it needs a little extra pop. I'll come in on top with the lightest shade right here on my above my lashes. That's Dew Drop. And now the last color is the highlight for the brow bone. That's Daisy, which is this top color here. And I use that underneath my eyebrow and into the inner corner of the eye. Lighter colors on the inner corner create an illusion of width to the eye. So if your eyes are close set, you want to make sure that you put a little bit of a light eyeshadow right on the inner corner. And it also brightens up the eye as well. Okay, and last but not least, take a nice fluffy blending brush and blend away. Okay. So what I feel also really makes this look is a particular eyeliner. And this one is by NYX. It's called Burnt Sienna. And it's sort of a plum brown color. And I use this in the waterline of the eye and it really makes the color of the eye stand out. So if you have lighter eyes, greens, blues, hazels, all of that, this is a wonderful color to use to do the inner rim. So that's exactly where it's going. And I'll also take it and carry it right here, just a little bit on the inner corner. But again, really makes the green color stand out. Alrighty, and now I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, tight line with It's Superhero in black. It's a liquid liner, and I'm just going to run that right above my top lashes, primarily on the outer three quarters of the eye, and sticking really, really close to, close to my lash line. Again, it's just to give a little bit of definition and a tiny, tiny, tiny little wing out to the side. Alrighty, and to finish it all up, I will use my flat brush again in the Wisteria Purple right here and I'm just going to smoke underneath my eye. This is a very, not a dark shade, but it's going to bring a little bit of color underneath and just soften that line a little bit. Okay. The key to everything is just soft and smooth, no harsh lines. Alrighty. And there's your eyeshadow combination. So this is a good moment now to clean up. Normally I don't apply concealer before my eye makeup, but in this case, like I said, I'm trying to save some time. So concealer went first and I can use my concealer brush now and just use this as an opportunity if any eyeshadow fell below, which it didn't. Um, because like I said, it's a very well-made eyeshadow. It's highly pigmented, so it stays together. It doesn't drop underneath the eye. In fact, there's really no residual powder here. That's a good thing. I still have my lash extensions on, so that saves me with mascara or a falsy. Saves a little bit of time. And now I'm just going to follow up with some loose powder to set it under the eye area. And anywhere else that might need it, okay? 
Um, let's see, like I said, uh, contour was done. The blush color I'm going to use comes from this Love Flush blush uh, palette that I've had forever in a day. And the color is Baby Love, which is sort of a muted, um, lavender neutral shade. It goes very well with the color scheme on the face. So when you do colors like this, you do want to try to find a blush tone that complements the look that you're going for. If you would go peachy or too pink, then it's too much of a contrast and everything needs to stay in the same family. So we're just going to do a little hit of baby love on our cheeks. See how it sort of pulls it all together. No competing colors here. And then a little highlight with Gentry Kelly's Nairobi Dusk right under the eye, down the middle of the nose, upper lip, and chin. So you're bringing light to the places that protrude on the face. Okay, now to the all-important lip. And that is going to be a combo, of course. <laughs> I'm the queen of blending lipsticks and lip glosses and whatnot uh, because one just won't do. So I'm going to start with Max Spice Lip Liner, which I, I seems to be my go-to color, especially when it comes to earthy tones nudes. What I love about this shade is that you can dial it up or dial it down. Um, you don't have to do an exact match and I prefer matching a little bit closer to the lip color than the lipstick color uh, only because that can look a little harsh. So we're going to take our lip liner and we will define our lips. Always take your time on lip lining. It's really, really important. It's not something that you ever want to look overdone. Uh, blending is the key on that, and oftentimes my lipstick, I will carry it over that lip line just to soften the edge a little bit, but I use it as a border and a boundary to sort of hug things in and keep it tight. Okay, so to answer the question, what is that lipstick shade? It's by Face Atelier, and it is da 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 Crystal Berry. That's the color used in last week's video as well as some Instagram posts lately. So I'm going to use my brush, get a good amount on there, and away we go. This color also has a little bit of a shimmer to it as well, so it complements what's going on on the eyes. Slightly on the lip line. Okay, now you're probably saying to yourself, wait a second, her lipstick last week wasn't that dark. No ma'am, it wasn't. That's because on top of it, I put um, Huda Beauty's Angelic. And this is such a gorgeous shade of pink with a little bit of a gold in it. And it goes on very, very thick. So the key here is a little goes a long way. So I take it and I, I basically wipe off a lot that's on here. And I'm focusing now on the center of my mouth. I will take my brush and now spread out just a little bit what I've done. But just a bit because you really want the focus to be on the center part of your mouth. So there we go. The application of last week is now today's this week video. Let me back up so you can see the whole thing together. And there we are, all pulled together. You know, this turned out to be a real pleasant surprise. Um, I, honestly, when I started applying the colors at first, uh, when I first tried this palette and that guide, I wasn't so sure. I thought, wow, that's a lot of lavender and a lot of frost. But as everything came together and with the depth on the outside of the eye, as well as sticking a little bit more neutral and darker in the blush and then having the berry color for a lip, which you can either keep dark or lighten a little bit, it really pulled it all into more of a fall look. And it's great because the fall look that I gave you a couple of weeks ago was using brown tones. This is a complete departure in the purples and the plums. So I'm happy to say it's really another fall makeup guide for you. 
using plums and purples, which, you know, that's what the fall season is about. We're dealing with either browns, rusts, or plums. So check, check, and almost check. Um, I hope you found this useful. I am really, really grateful that you suggested this to me. You know, sometimes we do things and we don't realize that there's a video within a video. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened last week. So I thank you very much. Um, I, am, I am thinking about fall. I am excited about what's to come. You know, my husband and I, have really enjoyed taking over the gardening aspect of our home. You know, we do all the fresh flowers on the inside, as you know, but I love to garden on the outside and really get creative with my flower beds. And so now that the season's starting to change and now that fall color is coming out, I see a fall gardening video coming up. I'm sure there's going to be a fall fashion video coming up. And whatever fall related video you need, let me know because my content comes from you. And I thank you in advance for all your incredible suggestions because they truly, truly truly are. So with another round of a fall face using plums, go out, be bold, and be blessed. And I'll see you next Thursday at one o'clock. Bye.